Hello, my name is Sam Brennan and today I want to talk to you about the financial force and aspirato integration. So the four items that I want to cover today are setting up an authorization, then once you've got an authorization set up, or creating automatic payments and collections from there. Item three is using a pay now button or link, and then item four is paying via our communities. Okay, so the first item today is setting up an authorization. So if we go into the org, I'm sat in an account, King Craig Technologies. There isn't an authorization set up, so I'm going to set one up. If you know what the customer is wanting to do for the payment route option, you can just select one, or if you're not sure and they want, you want them to decide later, you can select multiple. Then you just fill in all the information below. And you press save. Once you've saved, that's an authorization set up. However, the status is sat in a waiting submission. From here, you can send this URL to the customer, you can email it to the customer, and they can click on the link and set up either a credit card information or direct debit information. Or you can click on this process authorization and it will open up the same screen for you. As I said earlier, the payment route options I selected were credit card and direct debit. So now when I click process authorization, I can either put in card information or I can click on this link and put in direct debit information. So from today, I'm going to choose card information and just fill in all the information. And update the authorization. It is now going away and processing and it will come back with a successful status. So once that's happened, you can refresh the authorization and now the authorization will be in the status of in force, which basically means you can now create automatic payments from this customer. Okay, so the second item on the agenda is once we've got an authorization set up, collecting automatic payment from here. So if we go back into the org, I've already got a sales invoice set up for King Craig Technologies. This, this invoice at the moment is sat in a draft status. So once I post this invoice, it will create an automatic Aspirato payment for us. As we can see here, an Aspirato payment is automatically created and the status is in payment stage of awaiting submission. What would usually happen is a scheduled job would run daily, weekly, monthly, however often you want it to run, and it would pick up all the payments that haven't been processed yet, and as long as there's an authorization that's in force on that customer account, it will collect the money from it. I'm not going to wait for the scheduled job to run, so I'm going to change the payment stage to collected from customer automatically. Once that's done, I'm going to go back to the sales invoice here. As soon as the payment, the Aspirato payment, is changed to collected from customer, in the background, in financial force, an automatic cash entry is created and and it is allocated against this sales invoice so if we click on match payments here we can see that there is a cash entry created and the outstanding value of the sales invoice is now zero and it is paid so that is how the authorization and the automatic payment collection is done So moving on to the third area now is we're going to look at 
a customer where they haven't got an author authorization in force. And so we're going to look at where there can be a pay now button or a pay now link on the sales invoice. So if we go back into the org, we'll now go to another sales invoice that I've previously created, 377. And this sales invoice is for a different account, it's for Primatech that doesn't have an authorization in force set up on there. So again, I'm going to post this sales invoice. And what we'll get this time is once it's posted is a payment link will appear and a payment link URL. So what you can do from here is click on this pay now and it'll open up a screen and you can pay, you can automatically take payment over the phone or you can, for example, email or add this payment link URL to your invoice template to send to the customer and they can do it themselves. We'll click on this pay now link and it'll open up a pay page. I'm going to pay as the company. So Primatech, I'll put in my email address and a postcode. I'm going to pay by card. So then we'll take down the card information. Who's paying? And we'll pay with card. So this is now processing to make sure all the information is correct. But at the same time it's processing, it's doing the same on the sales invoice as it did in item two, where it is automatically creating the cash entry and allocating it to that sales invoice. So now if we look at the matched payments, there is a cash entry against this. And again, the sales invoice amount is zero and it is now paid. Great. So the last section I want to go through now is paying via the communities. So we're going to log into the community as a contact and use the pay now button um, in the community. So we'll go back into the org now and we're going to go on to a sales invoice 378. So this sales invoice is for Primatech and it's in the invoice status of in progress. So we're gonna post this sales invoice. So instead of clicking on the pay now link or, the, or emailing the pay link URL, as Alistair, we can log into the community. Now we're in the community as Alistair, we can click on account details and we're now into Primatech account details so you can see the account balance, the activity and below we can say the unpaid invoice 378 of 946.80. If we want to view the details of this sales invoice, it will open up the sales invoice underneath and we now have this great link here of the pay now button. So if we click the pay now button, it will open up a screen and as Alistair Neal, I can do, I can pay from the community. Again, I'm going to pay by card. I'll just fill in the card information. and pay with card. So again, this is processing through the same way it did in, in the third item. And at the same time as processing through, it is going to create that cash entry against the sales invoice and automatically allocate it. So now in the community, if we actually want to look at the payment statuses which are paid, we can see that that 378 for 946.80 is now in the paid status. Thank you for watching.